Our top story tonight, not guilty on all charges. The verdict came down after six hours of deliberation. Ethan Gratton claimed self-defense in the January 2017 shooting incident. He was accused of firing the shots that killed David Hill and seriously injured Mark Brito. Local 22's Courtney Kramer was in the courtroom for the verdict today. She joins us now live in the newsroom with details. Hi, Courtney. Well, Glenn Stacy, a Franklin County jury got the case last night, and just before one this afternoon, Ethan Gratton was found not guilty on all charges. That includes the second degree murder of David Hill and attempted murder of Mark Brito. After more than a week on trial for second degree murder and second degree attempted murder, Ethan Gratton walked away a free man Friday. We find Ethan Gratton not guilty. On January 2nd, two years ago, prosecutors say Gratton shot David Hill and Mark Brito after a fight broke out as the two men tried to turn around in his driveway. Gratton claimed he fired his gun in self-defense. When jurors reconvened Friday morning, they requested the court replay the testimony about Gratton's concussion. Dr. Deborah Black testified he acted under diminished mental capacity and was not in control of his actions after being punched by David Hill. Ethan's brain at that moment took a double hit. Uh, on the one hand, a concussion, and on the other hand, extreme fear. I think that the jury not was hung up on, but used Dr. Black's testimony for their decision. During the trial, Franklin County State's Attorney Jim Hughes argued Gratton's actions were premeditated, telling the court he went back inside his home for a gun. Meanwhile, Gratton's attorney, Kelly Green, says the family is grateful for the community's support through this. Relieved uh, for this verdict. Uh, our hope is that with the conclusion of this trial, everyone involved will have space and time to continue healing. Mark Brito and his family were visibly upset leaving the courtroom. <laughs> Brito's recovery has been ongoing. He was declared legally blind and has trouble with his hearing following the shooting. The Gratton and Brito families declined to comment on the outcome. The judge did say he's never seen a jury work so hard and pay so much attention to a case. Live in the newsroom, Courtney Kramer, Local 22 News.